Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, we'll be going over five easy and cool transitions for your music video. So let's just get started. So our first transition will be this zoom out transition. It looks really smooth. So this is how we do it. So starting off, you can see I have these two clips. So firstly, hit Y on your keyboard to bring up the anchor point tool. And make sure you are selected on the first clip and just put the anchor point onto your subject or anything you like. And hit S to bring up the scale and set it to 120 at the first frame so we have a little zoomed in frame at the first and just hit the stoppers in there now go over to the end frame and just zoom it out to something like this my value is like 35 right now now we will see the clipping and the edges because our video is not that large to fix that we're gonna use a motion tile effect motion tile set it to 300 by 300 i guess we i'm zoomed in like too much so let's just scale up, scale in a little bit more and now hit mirror edges and it should mirror the edges like this this Put that keyframe on the end is these, these all of these keyframes select those keyframe go over to your graph editor make sure you are in value graph and make a simple tile graph like this so a simple value graph like this works on it so make this one and now we're gonna work on our second clip as well so hit y on a keyboard and set your anchor point on your subject again hit the stop pause on the scale put it a bit further scale it in to something like this and easy is those keyframe go into graph and make a simple similar graph into here so now after that graph you will have your zoom out transition ready to go you can do it zoom in as well by following the same steps so let's just move into our second effect which would actually be flashes these are not the normal flashes you see everywhere this is kind of a unique one and really trendy right now so this is how we do it so firstly start off by making an adjustment layer and just make it one frame something like that and now we'll put this adjustment layer a few frame forward before our cut and add like an effect called exposure in it and just bring of the exposure maybe something like five on the exposure look cool then just hit q on the keyboard to bring up your rectangle max tool and just max out the half of it so something like this so now you can see we have this like unique camera flash so we're gonna repeat the steps now so let's just copy this adjustment layer invert it maybe you can even like play with the marks of it or so something like that and in your cut just duplicate that again and delete the exposure from it delete the marks from it and add like a fill on it and set it to white so it like completely goes white for one frame and going into another layer you can just copy these adjustment layers so i'll duplicate this and put this one at here as well lower down the exposure a little bit and bring up the exposure of this one so that easily you have your unique flashes also done so let's just move into our third effect now now our third effect would be a simple shake transition this might be one of the essential things for music video so i'm gonna show you how to do this so to start off as you can see i have these two clips pulled up so to add the shake there's a lot of way you can just make adjustment layer and if you have sapphire you can use the sapphire shake or if you don't have like any plugin you can just search up like wiggle position and in here you can get all of these like settings on your slider control so if i go into here and make the amount to like 100 at the start and make the wiggle which is frequency i guess to like 9 or 8 let's just go with 9 then hit the stop was on the amount and put the first keyframe around the beginning something around here and put the last keyframe around here toggle switches and morse and bring up the motion blur and easy is those go into graph and you can make a simple graph on it and to remove the black bars you can always use like a motion type and set it to 200 by 200 on the output height the mirror edges and put it before you wiggle. so now if you take a look you can see we have a simple shake transition like that you can bring up the value more if you like if i like do this we have it like more shake but for now we're gonna remove all of these and we're gonna use shake sauce too i think this is one of the best plugin out there right now it has a lot of shake preset built into it so you don't have to keyframe anything and the best part is i got you guys with a promo code if you use the code asim at checkout you can get seven days free trial and if you like it you can continue your subscription or if you don't you can cancel any time but anyways let's just go over to window extension and open up six source so anyways after you have your six source open up all you gotta do is you can use this constant sick if you like but we're gonna go over to keyframe and you can see a bunch of preset in here ready to go for you and in the description you'll find five of my own preset that i made for six sauce so you can just import those and get and get five more six for your six sauce 
pause for free so you can see i have the awesome vertical stick awesome best one awesome twitch awesome light and awesome whip all of these are really cool so i'm gonna go through and show you guys so let's just go with the stump which is the default one really like this one and now if we play through you can see we have this crazy shake right there and one of the hidden feature of this shake is select your controls layer which is this you can just like replace your shake within it so if i go like with zoom you can see it exactly applies into that and we have this like crazy another one and if you want to add another one you can just select out and add another one and if i go through and show you guys you can see all of these like crazy with, with all those flickers as well yes it also has flickers controls rotation scale motion blur everything that you need so it's really cool and lastly i'ma show you all of my own presets so awesome vertical shake right here let's just see how it looks that goes hard right there as you can see and awesome best one it is the best one so it's the name best one so if i show you you can see this is so bouncy and looks so smooth awesome twitch is a really great one as well gives you this smooth say and awesome light right here the light is a really light one so we might not see it that much yeah you can see it like really light of a say and another one which i love is a simple wave and now and now if i show you you can see it like a simple whip transition looks really cool so yeah with that our third effect is also done if you want to grab the steak sauce i'll link it in the description so let's just move into our fourth effect now our fourth transition would be this reverse transition it is really trendy so i will show you how to do it so there's like two methods of doing it so start by hitting ctrl d on a keyboard to duplicate any of your clip and if you have sapphire you can add like a random edits and you would be done that easily but if you don't have like sapphire random edits so all you gotta do is go into time go into time straight and make it minus five and then just bring it over here and you can just extend this one and and put it where you want transition so right here so now like that you can see we have the effect going on already but the one thing i like to do is click on this one click on move all attributes and add like a rsmb in it to give some dope motion blur you can play with the motion sensitivity as well you can also add an adjustment layer in here and add a simple flash when it transitions so our exposure and then you can just keyframe the exposure with that our reverse transition is also done so now let's just move into our last transition which would be a simple whip transition so i'll show you how to do this so you can see i have these two clips lined up so all we gotta do is duplicate your second clip and make it like three frames long three or four and just put it between both of your cut then add like a motion tile on it motion tile set it 200 by 200 or you can bring it up more if you like mirror edges for sure then hit p on the keyboard to bring up the position and you can start positioning it up like this let's just bring up the motion tile high to something like 400 and now make sure you are animating it go into the last one and then 